Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new to my channel, then thank you for being here. I hope these messages can help you and resonate in some way. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. I don't want to take too long. Remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you need to flip and reverse the energies, you can do that because um, they do often get interchanged. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit of the divine and white light. Please protect me and guide me as I go through the tarot. Please give me the most precise clear and accurate messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know right now at this time, please? Messages for Scorpio for the next week. Whoops. Okay, that one flew. Okay, we have Adriana, or Adriana, however you want to say that. <laughs> okay, it says, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps that I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams, okay? So you, it seems like you might have prayed for something, Scorpio, and I feel like this is um, something that Spirit's wanting to speak of about. Let me find the book real quick for you. Okay, it says... We have heard your prayers and we are glad that you asked us for help. As you may know, you can ask we as you may know, we can only help you if you request assistance. This way that we angels answer your prayers is by giving you guidance that will lead you to take the steps towards your higher self's will. Notice repetitious thoughts and feelings or vivid dreams, visions, or auditory messages. These are my loving messages urging you to take action or to make changes. I will make sure that you are safe while you follow this divine guidance. Together we will work to co-create your answered prayers. The message again was, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps that I am communicating through your intuition, your thoughts, and your dreams. Hmm. Scorpio, I feel like... Um, you could have been playing, praying about a relationship since this is a relationship reading or a love reading. Um, maybe you could be in a relationship already with somebody. Um, maybe you're upset because you don't have a relationship with somebody. Um, but either way, I feel like you're going to know intuitively. Um, you've been praying for some sort of um, relationship help, okay? Or some help in this um, situation, maybe to receive love even. Maybe you don't even have anybody yet. Um, but I'm feeling intuitively like it's kind of like you do. I'm noticing the two children on the card too. Do you see these two children? Um, so it's like it may be you may you might already have children, okay, with this person that you came to the reading about. Hmm. Okay, so let's stick this to the side and see what else is going on. Um, we're gonna do a Celtic cross today, Scorpio. Um, so let me go ahead and shuffle these real quick. Messages for Scorpio about them and their person, okay? Please give me the most precise, clear, and accurate messages for Scorpio and their person. Scorpio and their person, please. take the top 10 cards so I don't have to do it because these are so slippery okay let's go ahead and lay this down so we have ooh a lot of reversal Scorpio Scorpio, what is going on here? I definitely feel the heavy energy already. Hmm. 
Uh, let me do a reader's fan. I also want to get a couple cards from a reader's fan. I'll take four cards from a reader's fan. So, before I actually pull, um, I want to pull one of these and see what feelings or emotions you could be dealing with right now, too, for this reading. Okay. We have fear. Okay. That's kind of, that's an extreme card. You see that? Where the feet, like, are on the ledge. Like, this person's going to, they're, like, scared walking on something. It's like they're scared to take a chance. Okay, and let's see what this card says. It says, fear, particularly the fear of failure, is the main thing that holds us back in life. However, when we look logically at this fear and realize that setbacks are not the end of the world, but, in fact, that they can be used to drive our future successes... We free ourselves to face challenges with a clear and confident attitude, and we strive freely towards becoming our best selves. Your affirmation is, I am fearless in the face of failure, and I will not let fear prevent me from being my best self. Scorpio. I can definitely see you're struggling. You're going through a lot of things right now, okay? Um, the card that is representing you in this reading is the Ten of Swords. If I can pick it up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. The card that's representing you is the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, I feel like, Scorpio, you are definitely going through a lot, okay? Um, the Ten of Swords, it's like the final chapter of something. It's at that very end, okay? It's at the end, dead end of something. Um, it could definitely talk about breakup, certainly. Um, it could talk down it could talk about divorce it can talk about um being backstabbed um some sort of betrayal it's like hitting that very rock bottom that you just can't take anymore okay it's that final chapter is what i'm feeling like um it's having some sort of failure in something um Let me look at my reader's fan, actually. I'm just going to show you we have the Three of Swords. Um, we also have the Two of Cups. We have the Fool. The Ace of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, okay? And then I also have the Seven of Wands in reverse. And the Sun. I'm feeling like Scorpio, I feel like you could be in a relationship right now, okay? But I feel like whoever it is that you're in the relationship with, I don't feel like you want to be in that relationship with them. You might have met somebody, okay? So I feel like this is a very specific message. I don't usually get messages like this, but this is a very specific message. So if you're not in a relationship with somebody, um, you know, seeking somebody outside of your relationship, then this might not be your reading. Um, you could definitely be married to this person. Um, but I feel like you have maybe, um, I, I don't know if you've stepped out of your relationship, but I feel like you might have, um, found somebody that makes, ha makes you happy. Okay. And, and I feel like you're struggling right now to, to, um, maybe leave a relationship behind. Okay. So that you can move forward towards something else. Um, Hmm. What I'm picking up for this Ten of Swords, I'm feeling like, um, intuitively I'm picking up that there's, um, you've hit rock bottom in a relationship, okay? You feel like that this relationship is in ruins, that there's no salvaging it, okay? You're, um, you're not happy, okay? Most, most certainly you're not happy. Um, you could be wanting to get a divorce, okay? Or this person could be wanting to get a divorce from you. 
Um, I feel like it's you though, okay? But you feel like some way and something that's, that's some sort of failure that's happening happened in, in the situation, okay? But you definitely feel like this is the ending. This is the last chapter. You can't possibly um, go on anymore. You can't proceed anymore. You're overwhelmed by this, okay? Um, with the Eight of Wands being the challenge, okay, this is about, you know, what's crossing you at this time. This card can speak about blockages um, that are challenging your situation. Um, and I feel like in this instance, okay, um, I feel like things have been stalling, okay? It's like you find yourself... Um, with some sort of energetic block, okay? You find yourself maybe having to put this situation with you and your partner on hold, okay? I feel like you things, you're starting to feel like something's stalling, okay? It's like somebody's stalling. Um, and you feel like whatever it is, you might have been, um, you might have had a goal in mind to maybe move things um, into the next situation, maybe possibly divorce, okay? And it's like you're, you, you feel like you've been having like, delays after one after another okay it's like whatever reason and i feel like you want out of this okay um but it's been like you you feel like it's lost momentum okay with it being in the eight of swords or eight of uh wands in reverse okay you feel like um a lack of focus okay for some reason you feel like you can't get focused okay but you know that it's like a time that you need to align things okay in order to um to to get a hold on everything but right now you feel like everything's being put on hold okay um i don't know if it's because of a person that you are you know dating that's on the outside i don't know that you're dating somebody on the outside but i feel like there is somebody you're interested on the outside okay um i don't even know if that's the reason why you don't want to be in this relationship anymore but i just feel like for whatever it is um you feel like things have been put on hold okay you're feeling overwhelmed um But definitely you're feeling some sort of blocked energy, okay? And like things have just slowed down and you're not happy with it. You are wanting to um, end the suffering I'm hearing. You want to just, you want to let go of everything. You're feeling like you're over this situation, okay? You're just, um, it's like everything's been festering for so long and you just feel like it's, it's, you're, there's nothing else that can happen. You might be even in this victim energy, okay? And feeling like you were some sort of victim to the situation. Um, you could have been with most definitely somebody who was very manipulative with the King of Wands being here in the reverse. Um, but you feel like this relationship has broke you down, okay? It's broke you down to where you feel like you can't give anymore. Um, you might have given everything that you could have possibly gave and the situation and this person just, for whatever reason, didn't meet you, okay? They never... They never um, made you feel heard, is what I'm hearing, okay? But with fear being here, I feel like, Scorpio, you have a big fear, okay, of moving away from this person. Um, in the foundation and the unconscious mind, we have the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? This is the root of the reading, okay? This is what's looking deeper into the issue that's at hand, okay? It can also um, describe influences that you know, that reach into our distant past that we might simply speak about, okay? But but what the real root of the problem is, is what this is, okay? Um, with the Six of Swords and being in reverse, this is, all, just so you know, this also um, is a, is a, is the foundation or in the unconscious mind. This is a, also a things that tell us, um, You know, it pertains to your unconscious mind, okay? So it's it's highlighting something that we might not even realize that we're, is an issue, okay? But something that's layered deep, in, deep within our own psyche, okay? Um, with the Six of Swords being there in reverse, this is telling me that there's trouble, okay? There's trouble ahead, okay? There's no progress in the situation. It's like you feel like things went from bad to worse, okay? You might have had a plan, but for whatever reason, 
this being in your unconscious mind, it's just like a bunch of instability is what you're feeling, okay? It's, you just feel like there's no progress in the situation, that it's been delays um, again. Um, but something that's like slow healing, it's just went from bad to worse, okay? This is what's in your psyche. This is what you're saying. This is the root of the whole problem. So I feel like you might have at one time, Scorpio, had a plan to leave, okay? Or take yourself out of this um, position any, and that you're in position. But feel like there's no way out. Oh, excuse me, I had to take a drink. With the Six of Swords being in reverse, you know, typically the Six of Swords talks about better times that are ahead, okay, moving, becoming more stable, conflicts being resolved. But with it being in the reverse, this is telling me that the, the deeper issue at hand here, Scorpio, is that things have went from bad to worse, okay? You feel that they're getting worse, and you're in this fear mentality, okay? You're having all this fear. Um... With my readers fan that I saw, I feel like you could be having fears about finances, okay? Because I do have the emperor here as well, and the empress in reverse, okay? So the empress in reverse is somebody, um, she doesn't have the greatest qualities, right? Um, but she's somebody who might have been put in this situation to where she really had no choice. Um... I feel like that that possibly maybe in the past, um, you know, with the Empress being in reverse, she's, she's losing her feminine power, okay? She's not embodying it. Um, she's somebody who's insecure, and she has, like, um, you know, some block creativity. She has a lot of negligence. Um, I feel like, Scorpio, you could be, and she's also somebody who's insecure. I feel like um, she, you could be feeling um, some sort of dependence on this Emperor that's in my fan. Okay, um, and that was here next to the Hierophant card. I'm looking at these cards too. Um, this this um, emperor has some sort of authority over you or some sort of power. Okay, he could be the father to your children or the mother. It could be the mother to your children. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Um, but this person is, I feel like the person who maybe provides some sort of stability in your home. Okay. And because the Hierophant's here, it's showing me that this is probably a marriage. Okay, but this has left you dependent on that person. So you, you have, like, dependence that you, de you have to, um, you know, depend on this emperor, okay? Um, be for stability, I feel like, okay? Um... The Empress on this card, too, she's um, she's always pregnant. You could have children with him or her, okay? So take that as it resonates. This is not This is a very specific message, so I feel like this isn't going to be for everybody. This is about a divorce. I can see it clearly. This is about a divorce. Um, but with the Six of Swords being in reverse, it's just telling me that no, you, there's been no progress, that troubles are ahead of you, Okay. You feel like there's been delay after delay. Um, it's like you might have just returned from somewhere even and feel like when you came back to the situation that things just went from bad to worse. Like I said, it's like it's slowly healing, barely slowly healing, but definitely um, something's brewing is what I'm feeling like. And you're not making progress, okay? So in the... Hmm... I feel like, Scorpio, there could be somebody else, like I said, on the outside of the relationship. I don't know if you stepped outside of your relationship. You could just be talking to somebody outside of your relationship. Um, you don't have to be. This could be just a committed relationship. Maybe you don't even, maybe you're not even married to this person. Maybe you just have um, some sort of binding legal, legal legalities. Like, um, you know, maybe you share finances. Maybe you are like married couple, but you're not, okay? Maybe you both pay, you know, a home mortgage, or maybe you both have vehicles that you share. Um, but I feel like this is a some sort of relationship with, with a higher level of commitment where there's some binding agreements, okay? Um, 
I feel like in the recent past, okay, this position is, is the card right here. This is talking about, it highlights the recent events, okay? Um, and with it being a court card, it can represent energies that we no longer will be active with, okay? Um, this person, okay, whoever's here could still be somebody who has a residual, resi um, residual impact on your life, okay? Even though they, even if they are out of sight. So we have here the King of Cups in reverse, okay? So even if this person is out, out of sight, okay, and they have had some sort of impact on your life, the King of Cups is in reverse. He's somebody who is repressed, okay? Somebody who's very emotionally immature. He has emotional immaturity, okay? Um, he's also somebody who's overly emotional, somebody who's very moody. Um, he's more like, he's more focusing on his inner feelings and he can be somebody who's very manipulative. He's somebody who's withdrawn, okay? Because when he's upright, he's normally somebody who has emotional masters, mastery, okay? He's somebody who can contain his emotions, okay? He's somebody who has an equal balance of head and heart balance, no drama, very kind, diplomatic, somebody who's artistic. Okay, this is a water sign. This is a sign for Scorpio. So it could be another Scorpio. It could be a Pisces or it could be Cancer because it is a water sign. doesn't have to be. Um, but with it being in the reverse, this person is also, um, they're prone to being somebody who is, um, who ghosts people. Okay, so their ghosting is a very um, thing that sticks out because they are so emotionally immature. Okay, they um, are manipulative too. They're more focused on what's going on in their lives than they are of other people, okay? And they have like a very, they're very moody, okay? It's like you don't ever know what to expect with this person. Um, I feel like, I want to pull a couple of Kipper before I say anything. False person. A message. Poverty. Bottom of the deck, we have change. Okay, so this is making sense to me. Okay, so Scorpio, you could have been talking to somebody, okay? You could have been talking to somebody outside of your relationship. Um, and this person was this King of Cups in reverse, okay? Somebody who was moody, who his emotions were all over the place. Um, Never really caring about how you felt, okay? Always being very manipulative with their tactics and the way they move. This person certainly could have been somebody who withdrew or ghosted you, okay? Maybe you saw yourself moving forward with this person. Um, and I feel like with change being here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you wanted to make some sort of change. It's like you saw, um, because this person is manipulative, okay? And you might not have sewed it, saw it. Um, you could have been, um, you know, focusing on this person, possibly wanting to move things forward with this person, okay? Um, and maybe that's what made you realize that you were unhappy in another situation that you're in, okay? You could be with a fire sign, married to a fire sign possibly, or you could be married to a water sign. So, um, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Um, let's see. Main Mel, yeah. Um, so this person's not your main person. This is someone else. So your main male is not this person. This person's fake. Whoever this person is and you might have wanted to, you know, maybe leave a situation that you're already in right now to move towards somebody else, okay? This person could have manipulated you though, okay? But I feel like you might have, we have sudden wealth and rebirth.
false person. Yeah, this person wanted to be your main person. Okay, they wanted to maybe move things forward. Um, and you could have received a message about this person recently, okay? Maybe things in their life were um, not going so great, okay? They could, would your adjudication being here, this person could have maybe um, sent you a message recently saying that they were exiting another relationship. Um, or that maybe asking you to exit a relationship, okay? This person could have also said something about that something in their life was changing, okay? Maybe they were moving. I don't know. It just looks like this This. This is packed up, right? This car is packed up. Um, your birthday could be November the 11th. It could be November the 9th. It could be, you could be 37 years old. You could be 30 years old. Your birthday could be October 30th, November 7th, November 8th. Um, we also had November the 1st. Pull a couple more cards. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Expectation in a female. Okay. Okay. Pathway. children um i feel like scorpio you could have children definitely with this person you're with right now okay this person i feel like that you were interested in has children this person is experiencing um poverty right now okay um i'm also seeing this poverty scorpio as this is down here i'm noticing it by the six of um swords specifically you could be fearful of moving away from whoever somebody that you're already in a relationship with because of poverty you're scared of being po in poverty okay you're scared of not having enough okay i'm going to explain these when i get to the the end so i'm going to put these up here um tell me about this ten of cups in reverse courthouse Okay, so let's continue. I'm taking too long. Um, I was just trying to really focus. Okay, so there's definitely somebody who's in your life. This person might have came in recently and gave you some sort of message, okay? Um, about, you know, possibly them ending a situation. Possibly about you ending a situation, okay? Um, but I feel like this person's manipulative, okay? And that could be why... Um, Maybe that's why maybe things that were bad went from bad to worse, okay? So maybe something's changed with you and this person that you were interested in, okay? Something could have changed with that person and you. And it's like you might have thought you were getting out of something, um, maybe to move to something else. And then, you know, maybe something happened with this person's income, okay? Or their finances possibly. Um, and so it's like maybe you were going to depend on, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe y'all had to discuss something. I'm going to dig deeper into that, but it's like things went from bad to worse. Okay. You might've had a plan and now you don't. Um, this is interesting reading with the nine of cups being in reverse. Okay. This is, this is in your, um, the near future. Okay. Um, this is talking about your focuses and the conscious mind. Okay. This is the card that will suggest um, what you're focusing on. 
okay, and explains your conscious thoughts and about the situation. Um, with the positive card being there, it could describe you having some sort of healthy mindset. Um, but with it being in Nine of Cups in reverse, this is a negative um, one. This is suggesting um, that you are being held back by fear or distrust, okay? And that doesn't surprise me because we had a card that came out that said fear. So this is holding you back because this is not a positive mindset. Right now, you're currently thinking about the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse is about, it's like a hollow feeling, okay? It's um, materialism, okay? It's selfishness. It's imbalance. Um, it's feeling empty, okay? Having a feeling of emptiness. It also talks about addictions, okay? And it also talks about um, maybe being overindulgent. Okay, so maybe you are not knowing how to handle with this situation right now. You could be over indulging in like alcohol specifically because it is cups. Um, it could be anything though. You can, with addiction being there as well, it doesn't have to talk about you know street drugs or anything. Although it certainly can. Um, maybe you are just overindulging in um, you know eating. Okay, shopping right now specifically, but some sort of self indulgent energy. Okay, because this is what you are focusing on. And I feel like with materialism being one of the options, I feel like you could be focusing on the imbalance that you have in your life and this emptiness that you feel. You could be focusing on this hollow feeling that you have of feeling like alone. That's what I'm feeling like saying. Um, and maybe sort of being selfish, okay? Um, and I'm just reading the cards the way it say. So, and this doesn't have to be true. You could be any of these things. I feel like for the most of you, it's going to be that you are focusing on this empty feeling that you feel, okay? Um, and maybe you could even be focusing on material aspects. So, like, say if you do leave a relationship, um, that you will be in some sort of poverty or you'll be you'll be lacking something, okay? Um, and maybe not have as much as you once did, okay? I feel like for the most part, this, this King of Cups has emotionally withdrawn completely it's these might have ghosted you you might have even seen to uh, received a message about this king of cups from someone else that was telling you that they were a false person that they possibly already have someone else okay because there's main male here too it can be i'm noticing an x of that card there could be two mean two things um this person could already have somebody else okay um, but I feel like with it being judication being here and this person you might be hearing about this person um, Releasing somebody that they had in their life Okay, and maybe with sudden wealth being in reverse this person could be losing an a large amount of money if they're separating from somebody else, okay? Um, I'm feeling like With this negative mindset though. I just feel like this nine of cups is, is basically you feeling um I feel like you're feeling alone, okay? You're feeling empty, okay? You're not sure what you're feeling. Um, I feel like you you want family. You want happiness, okay? Because we have the Ten of Cups in reverse over here. Um, you ultimately want that. But I feel like at the same time, Scorpio, it scares you. You're scared of what it's going to take to get that, okay? And how strong you're going to have to be to do that. Okay, sorry, I was drinking a drink. Okay, so in the near future, though, I have to say the positive is, Scorpio, in the near future, we have the star. Okay? Great, great card to, for the near future. Okay, this is telling me that you can expect some sort of healing, okay, in your near future. And this, just so you know, this this um, specific spread is um, near future, and this one means like within a week, okay? So it's like the super near future. It's not going to be far ahead. Okay, it's usually within a week um, with the Celtic cross. Um, with the star being there, I feel like this is a this is a card about having faith. Okay, it's also a card that's meaning renewal. Okay, it's meaning healing of some sort. It's um, having hope and remaining, remaining calm and faith in something, okay? Um, it's, it's having inspiration, and it's definitely something that re it's regarding your spirituality, okay? Um, I feel like in this situation, Scorpio, this is 
saying like, I'm just seeing this card as like wish granted, okay? Because remember, we had at the beginning, we talked about this that came out that was talking about this angel, Ar Adriana, right? I'm leading you towards the answers to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps that I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams, okay? Um, so you prayed for something. So ask yourself, what did I pray for? Did you pray for this person? Did you just pray to have a nice, good relationship with somebody, okay? Whatever it is that you prayed for, I feel like this is what is going to be happening. Because this, this, this star literally can mean wish granted. Okay, so whatever it is that you prayed for, you're getting your wish, okay? Even though you might be in all this blocked, stagnant energy, I feel like you're going to be getting this wish, okay? But I feel like it's imperative that you pay close attention to the signs and synchronicities and the nudges that your spirit guides are giving you right now, okay? Because they said that. Um, so something's going to be happening. I also see this as an Aquarius. You could be having an Aquarius come into your life, but I'm really seeing this more as wish granted. Um, interesting. I feel like, uh, with the next card, which is this four of coins in reverse, okay? Um, this is talking about the, uh, this is talking about you, okay? This is the you card in all of the deck. Um, I know this is what energy is revolving the situation, but this is basically the you card. It's um, extremely important because this is something that gives us a glimpse into, you know, your motivations, what they are, and um, how you're presenting yourself at this time, okay? Um, this is saying to me, with it being the four coins in reverse, that you are focused on priorities, okay? You're focused on priorities right now. You are trying to some way, um, you're trying to realize... And, and I feel like tell yourself things like that less is more right now, okay? You feel like less is more. Having You want some sort of uncluttered life, okay? This is your mindset. This is the you card. Um, and it's I feel like it's one of the most important cards, okay? When you, when you look at this card and how, what energy that you're in, okay? This is how you're feeling about the situation. But with this card and, and how you're feeling, um, it's, it's so important because it literally provides the, that glimpse that you need for your motivations and how you are presenting yourself, okay? Um, this is telling me that you are focused on your priorities right now. So this is good. This is very good that you're, you're, you're focused on your priorities, okay? Um, it's like you are knowing that you need to release things. You're trying to unclutter your life. You're trying to get rid of things that, um, that you don't need to hold on to anymore. Because upright, typically when it's in the upright position, this is normally somebody who will... Um, they have some sort of a material attachment to something. Somebody who's like habitual, habitual, okay? Somebody who has that scarcity mindset. Somebody who's um, who tends to hoard things, okay? They hold on to things. They try to save everything. They accumulate too many things, okay? Um, because of a material attachment, okay? Somebody who's conservative. They try to conserve everything. But it's like habitual. It's, it's like possessive almost, okay? They hoard it. Um, so the fact that you are releasing that and you're focusing on your priorities and you're releasing things and you're trying to release emotional attachment, unclutter your life, okay, releasing um, that materialism, but it's all about having that minimalism, a mater um, yeah, minimalism, okay, you are reevaluating things and it's like you're thinking to yourself, less is more, okay, you might have looked at it um, differently in the past. And I feel like that's a good thing, Scorpio, because like we said, and the, the, your mindset, okay, we talked about your mindset and um, what was in your thoughts earlier, and that was the Nine of Cups, okay? Remember the Nine of Cups in reverse? And we said that the Nine of Cups is talking about um, having an attachment to something. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's this nine of cups is about the, the excess, having an excess of stuff. Okay. Feeling, um, materialism. Okay. Being, um, 
overindulgent, having some sort of imbalance, okay? So it's good that you might have this in your thoughts, okay? This might be at the forefront of your thoughts, okay? The, like I said, the top above you stands for um, your focus and, and your conscious mind, right? Um, so this is, this is saying that you... What you might be focusing on is this, but you are, you're in this energy of getting rid of it. Okay, so it says that you're in the correct energy to get rid of this. This might be at the forefront of your, th your thoughts, but you're in the energy of releasing things and, and being decluttered, okay? Um, so you're in the right mindset. You might be thinking about that, but you're in the correct mindset in order to move forward. Okay, and, and it's I, this is great energy, it honestly is, because especially with this star being here, like I said, this is your near future. This is a card that is telling you where you're headed, okay? This is a card that looks at, um, like I said, within a matter of weeks, okay? So it's not going to, this isn't going to be near, too far in the future. This is going to be the near future, um, so within like a week or two, okay? Um, so it's not rather, it's not really a, long, a longer time frame, so it gives you an indication of, what might arise on the not so distant horizon, right? So I feel like you have a lot to be looking forward to because I just see this star and I see it as, um, not only do I see it as you being content and happy where you end, um, but also you find some sort of renewal and you feel healed, okay, by something. You're feeling calm in this, in, in this energy. Your wish is being granted, okay? So it's really good energy. Although it started off a little bit heavy, um, your energy is certainly lightening up, okay? Um, but this card, the fact that you're in the Four of Pentacles in, in reverse is very good energy, Scorpio. This is telling me that you, you're you focused on your priorities. You're focused to release things that you don't need anymore, okay? This is the overall thing. And that's great because you're already, that the whole this whole reading is regarding about you leaving a situation that is bringing you down, that's wearing you out. It's like the ending, something that's final, the breakup, the divorce, whatever it is, you know you can't take anymore, so you are in the right mindset. I feel like you've had a belly full. And you are in this energy because you possibly have done this many times, wanting to leave and never did. Okay, with the page of wands, okay, this is the, this is telling me what's the, um, the environment, okay, that's surrounding you, any energies that are surrounding you. Um, this is telling me, um, you know, it's providing maybe a glimpse into your personal environment, okay, and the people that are within it, okay. If a court card set here is, sets here, which it is, okay, um, it's somebody who um, can be described and the who's available to help support you, okay? Um, but it could also be a card that could present a problem, okay? Somebody who can present a problem in your life. We have the Page of Wands, okay? So this is a fire sign. We have a King of Cups in the past, and now we have a fire sign. So this person is either gonna be an ally or they're gonna be um, somebody who's gonna cause problems, okay? Um, with it being the Page of Wands, um, I feel like it also could be a card that is, um, you know, describing opportunities that are up for grabs, okay? And even the views of maybe some people that are involved in the situation, okay? This page of wands is a card that, or a person that talks about, and he's in the upright position, okay? This is a person who um, is curious, okay? Somebody who's very curious in the situation, somebody who... Um, who's intrigued okay definitely somebody who's intrigued i feel like i feel like this page of wands is somebody who has a lovable energy, okay? Somebody who has like exciting plans, somebody who is like charismatic, okay? This could be a different person. This King of Cups could very well be the person you're already with, okay? So I just feel like there's two different people here. So if you need to flip them, you can. Um, this could be somebody who you're with that you're sick of, and this could be a new person that you are wanting to move towards, okay? I I'm kind of seeing that too. Um, 
and I'm noticing too, this could very well be the person you're with, okay? Um, you could have maybe been married to this person with adjudication being there. It could be talking about you wanting to release yourself from that person um, because, oh yeah, look, it could very well because this is a main male, okay, that's in your life. You found out after being with them for some time that this person's false, that they're not really who you thought they were, okay? They might have promised you um, to have a great life, okay? And with sudden wealth being in reverse, it's like you might have realized that um, this person kind of lied about everything. Maybe put you in some sort of debt, I'm seeing. Okay, maybe you thought that you were going to have a better life than you really actually are. So you might have got a person or message from maybe somebody that you know in the past or somebody you've just met, okay, um, that told you they want to take some sort of change with you. Okay, this person says they want to make a change with you. And I feel like you're scared because it could leave you in poverty. Even if you aren't somebody who has a lot of money with the person you're with now that's manipulative, um, you could still be scared because you, you don't want to end up in this poverty energy. Maybe you're not as clearly, you're not as bad as you are, but if you left, you would be much more worse, right? Um, but I feel like the, whoever this is, I feel like you're going to make the necessary steps to move away from this King of Cups in reverse, okay? And the person you're with doesn't have to be a water sign. They could just have water in their chart. So if you say, oh yeah, but I'm married to, you know, um, an Aries or something like that. You very would, you well could, this could still be an Aries. This person might just have a lot of water in their chart, okay? Um, or they could just be showing up in this energy. And you could be interested in somebody who is a page of wands, somebody who has um, this childlike um, energy to them, somebody who's like a powerhouse of energy. They have so much energy, they're lovable. Um, very charismatic but you feel like this person's creative and you love the playful energy that they have somebody who's a free thinker i feel like this person makes you feel young again um this could be definitely the new person that's coming into your life okay this is an energy that's surrounding you so this is telling me that i feel like this person and you um you've been talking to this person they're very curious look at the way this person is looking at that wand okay it's like this person's very curious they want to see where things could go between you and them okay and i feel like that's why you're trying to release this manipulative person you're with right now okay um we have the um your hopes and fears okay your hopes and fears this is interesting because i had one card clarify from the kipper deck and that was courthouse so your hopes and fears is quite literally to release yourself from some sort of um re marriage or commitment or um, legal binding contract that you're in with courthouse being clarified with the, the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's like you might have one time been happy with this person, but you want to, to separate. This is so obvious, Scorpio. You want this change. You're not happy where you're at anymore. You're unhappy. Um, you're fearful about giving this communication to maybe this person because they're going to lose their mind. Um, and I feel like you could have children with them because I'm noticing the child right there above it. Um, you feel like this person's going to be, because they're already manipulative, and that's why you have so much fear. You're fearful of how this person's going to react. Um, but you really like the way this, this page of wand makes you feel, okay? They could be younger than this person you're with right now, um, or they could just have, um, they could be a lot more immature, but I feel like they're younger. They might not be by a lot, but they're younger. Um, so... With, with this um, Ten of Cups in reverse, with hopes and fears, it's seeming though that you're, f you know, you would think that your hopes and fears are two different things, but you'd be surprised to know how um, the two are so much intertwined, right? Now it's like often our biggest dreams have the potential to be scary and overwhelm overwhelming when they're, you know, manifested. Um, so I feel like using your intuition is important here. So I feel like this is telling me that you, you fear... You fear having a happy life and a happy home, okay? You want it, but you're also fearful at the same time. I feel like you're fearful because you are scared of what happened with this person in the past. You don't want the same thing to play out again and have another situation where you later find out that they are false, okay? That they're not who they say they were. That's what I feel like you're scared of. You're also scared because I feel like you're scared to take a risk because you're scared of this poverty. You're scared of um, not having somebody to... Um, lean back on maybe things are just comfortable where you're at but I feel like that's what's stopping you especially if you do have children okay especially if you have children you could be fearful that you're not going to have enough to take care of your children 
You could be 35 years old. Your birthday could also be on November the 18th or the tw uh, 23rd of October. Yeah, there's a new pathway. Scorpio, this is so it. This is so... Okay, so... Um, this is interesting. Okay, so... You, you're you fearing that Ten of Cups in reverse some sort of... Um, that it's kind of scaring you. Okay, I feel like you can't quit thinking about it. Um, you know you you're feeling maybe you're you're fearing possibly being disconnected from your family you're feeling um you know this ten of cups is all about having a happy life family home so i feel like you're scared to break your family apart okay you're scared um you're scared that this might be a relationship with this page of wands it's a false sense of security um but you don't want to have this imbalance in your family life i feel like you're scared that maybe this could be a relationship that's inauthentic, inauthentic okay? Um, but I feel like you're going to take that rest, Scorpio, because the next um, possible likely outcome is the Knight of Wands. This person's coming in to rush towards you, okay? This is where we over here. This is the U card in tarot, even though this one presents how you are and what you're bringing. This one is the U card. This person's going straight towards you, Okay? And I feel like this wish card being in between, it's like you're getting your wish come true. Um, I feel like this person might have children already. Okay. But you, I feel like you have children already. Um, but this person wants to make you this main female. Okay. With expectation being here, this is telling me that you might be expecting this or this person might be expecting this. Okay. And you're going to be going down some sort of new path. You're getting what you wish for, Scorpio. And it might not have been wishing for a person. It might just have been wishing for somebody to love you the way that you want to be loved. Because I feel like wherever it is that you're at, you're unhappy. Very specific reading, Scorpio. Very specific. But yeah, this Nine of Cups is rushing in. And um, I feel like you might even be expecting this. This might be what you're waiting for. So this person's going to make you their, their person. And you're, you could have a family together. Okay, very well could have a family together. Um, maybe blending families, I'm hearing. This person could be an official person. They could be um, in some sort of military or job or something. Yeah, this person... I'm noticing thief. This person might have stole you from somebody else. Okay, so I feel like this person could have stole you. Let me see. Courtship. Yeah, this person and you are going to have some sort of um, family. Um, this person feels like, let's see, we have the lovers and journey. Yeah, you and this person going on some new journey, okay? Having a life. You're a gift to them. This person sees you as a gift, okay? This person sees you as a gift. This person, I feel like, is, um, they're... They could be leading a family dynamic too. Look, marriage. I didn't. I couldn't make it up, Scorpio. Tell me about this. Ten of Cups. Look, death. That's ending. This is ending. Do you see that? This is ending. This is ending. Yeah, great fortunes upon you with some wealthy man, okay? Bad health in reverse. That's telling me that your health's going to get better. So if you've been sad and depressed and lonely, your your health's going to get better. Your health's going to get better. I just saw the house too. I feel like you're going to be getting home with this person. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. This isn't too far in, in the future, Scorpio. Great energy. This was a short reading, guys. My energy is really low, if you can't tell. Um, this is a specific read, so um, I hope this resonated with somebody. Scorpio, if you have been with this far in the reading and these messages did resonate with you, please, if you don't mind hitting that like button right now, it helps my channel grow, and it also helps other Scorpios receive this message that I feel like is very important, okay? Um, let's see. Let's pull some messages from your new person, possibly your old person. Let's pull some messages from your new person. Because I feel like you're kind of past the old person, right? 
Um, but don't fear fearful. Listen to the signs and synchronicities that your angels are sending you at this time because they're going to be guiding you in the right direction. Pay attention to them because they said it's important. They are answering your prayers to get you out of a place that you're no longer happy in. Okay? But I'm so happy for you. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what Scorpio's person wants to say. What does Scorpio's person have to say right now? The person that they're going to be moving towards? What would they like, Scorpio, to know? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have It's Okay to Cry. Yeah, so this could be definitely making you emotional, especially if you're scared to move away um, from somebody. Okay, we have forgive me. We have I want to move on, but I can't. Things are moving too fast. I will take care of you. And I need time to heal. Yeah, I feel like this is stuff that you've been going through with this person in the past. Okay, great messages. Let's see what else. Pull a couple of these. And then we'll end the reading. Messages for Scorpio from their person, please. From the new person. Messages from the new person. Okay. Last messages, Scorpio. Okay, this is from your new person. We have, I pulled away because this love between us gets so intense and it scares the hell out of me. How much you could break me is terrifying. I'm afraid that I won't be enough for you. Please don't give up on me. I love you. I want to give this relationship a chance. I'm con I constantly talk myself out of expressing my truest feelings. Last card. I have a difficult time trusting others. I'm sorry for all the pain that I've put you through. Wow. Scorpio, these are the messages that I have for you. I hope they resonate. If they did, please hit that like button. Until next time, bye Scorpio.